African-American Rebecca Davis Lee Crumpler was born into a free family on February 8, 1831. Unlike other individuals around her, she was provided with many influential opportunities throughout her lifetime. She was inspired to go into health care by her aunt who provided medical care to their local neighbors. Rebecca went into the nursing field at the age of 21 and worked as a nurse for eight years before applying at medical school at the New England Female Medical College in 1860. Despite being an African American, she was accepted into medical school with a scholarship from the Wade Scholarship Fund that was founded by former abolitionist Benjamin Wade. Rebecca graduated on March 1, 1864, becoming the first African American female doctor. Davis began practicing medicine in 1865, serving the women, children, and poor population of her community. Not only was she the first African-American female physician, but she also wrote a book called Book of Medical Discourses, which is still used today. On March 9, 1895, Dr. Rebecca Davis passed away due to fibroid tumors at the age of 64. In 1989, an organization was named after her for her groundbreaking achievements, and her legacy continues on throughout modern medicine today.